What's good guys, if you need to make your ultimate team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Once you guys head over to u7buy.com, make sure to use my discount code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase on making that team better. Apart from FC coins, u7buy.com also provides more game services like top op mobile games, gift cards, game keys, etc. Click my link in the description and enjoy the cheapest prices now. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all boys. And today we're going to go ahead and review that 89 newly released SBC Showdown Akanji. We're looking at card 6-2 on the height, medium high work rates, 3-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot with that right foot. Acceleration type is mostly lengthy, 85 pace, 83 passing, 77 dribbling, 89 defending, 89 physicality as well. Play styles that the card comes with. Pink pass on basic along with long ball pass. Anticipate, slide tackle, first touch, aerial, and jockey all on basic as well. The two play styles on plus are block and intercept. I will say that the play styles on this Akanji are very solid. Now there's only one cam style you want to give the card and that's the shadow chemistry style. Acceleration 92, sprint speed goes up to 94. Everything in the defending category goes up to the 90s with stand tackling gets maxed out 99. Interceptions 96, Defense Awareness 93, 91 Strength, 89 Aggression is a very good combination from the card, I will say that. I do like that he's 6'2", I do like my CBs, very nice and tall. Akanji is going to be playing with this amazing team right here. Shout out to the homie Elements of God, and we're going to be using this card in the 4-3-2-1 as a right center back right next to Kafu. Now, personally for me, Akanji is looking pretty solid, but... For him to be considered top tier, in my opinion, he got to get that upgrade. And if I'm not mistaken, currently I've been hearing some rumors that if Man City or whatever the showdown card ends up winning the showdown, you can put them into an Evo and they get another plus two or plus three. I don't know what's going on. Apparently this card can be a 92 overall. If City end up winning, we might end up doing another player review on the channel with the evolution version of a kanji. But with that being said, we're going to test out this card, see if he's a potential top 10 CB in the game in these Foot Champs games right now. All right, here we go with game number one versus Team DDA. Hopefully the attack from this guy is pretty solid. The back line is mid, midfield is whatever. And the attack is, it's whatever, honestly. It's not bad, but it's not good either. Very nice tackle from Akanji, way to start out the game. Very nice block from the card right there. It's a great and aggressive tackle. Things you love to see. Oh, well, he did block that shot, so we do take that. Not bad on the dribbling aspect. Good pass right there. Get to send him on a wide ball. Very nice and clean taco right there. See Akanji versus Haaland. Takes the ball away from him nice and clean. I do like that this Akanji has a pretty stocky body type. Okay, I thought we were going to get scored on right there, but Akanji was able to take the ball away from him. Very nice interception. Once again, good interception from Akanji. I'm waiting for him to send that wide ball. He doesn't want to play the middle for some reason. I know he wants to try to find Haaland. And there we go. Once again, another great interception. Good pass as well. Very nice tackle. For some reason, Vieira doesn't hold on to it. And a good block. A great block right there. It's going to be a good test. Nice and clean. Nice and clean right there. Very nice. Stop, stop, run. Great job on stopping that run from Haaland. Let's go. Is he going to stop that? And he does. Great stuff. Pass out the back. Beautiful. Nice. 
I try to find the middle. I just want to select the kanji here, and he gets the interception. Good stuff, good stuff. Nice. That man just shoved off Hallen easily. Nice. We'll just shove up Hallen. This guy's locking off Hallen easily. He's going to catch up to that, and he does. Showing that that pace is very solid. Oof. All right, all right. I was about to say, if he didn't win that one-on-one -on -one versus Messi, that would have been a problem. Kanji versus Messi. Wins the ball over him once again. Great tackle. This man is locking up Messi easily. Oof, that was clutch, man. Blocking up that shot. We got cooked right there. Very nice interception. Things you love to see. See how he does catching up defensively. That's a great tackle. I mean, he didn't win the ball completely, but he was able to throw off the attacker. Very nice. Just way too easy. The physicality is A1 with this card. But that does not matter, man. It's a kanji wins every single one on one. didn't get that interception Oof, that's tough how did he not get that interception i thought he was gonna get that all right that time he does get it i do like his jockeying his jockeying is pretty solid he was able to turn in time defensively to win that tackle see that pace though nice great tackle very clean all right, boys, and that concludes the review for 89 Showdown SBC Akanji. Coming around 400,000 coins, give or take, in the Xbox and PlayStation if you do it from scratch. 400,000 coins on the PC if you do it from scratch as well. He has four segments to be exact. Now, we played four games with the card, and I will say I am impressed. I am impressed with Akanji. He is actually pretty solid. Now, he's not on the same level as the VVDs, as the Rios. As the Lucios, in my opinion, you know, some people might disagree with me on that. But what carries this card a lot is the insane play styles. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that Kanji usually is not top tier in FIFA, but this year, since play styles are kind of overpowered, it also is a combination with the play styles and the animations with the card. Kanji isn't usually known for his tackling animations like Van Dyke and the other more known CBs. But the play styles carry the card heavily. So pros right off the bat is that he is 6'2". He checks that box because I love my CBs. Very tall. Medium high work rates for those of you guys that believe in work rates for CB. Next, and a very underrated pro, is that he has 4 star weak foot with 95 short pass, ping pass, and long ball pass as well. Now I know some people don't care about passing on a CB. I think passing in a CB does matter, especially... If you play him in a three back formation because you definitely need some cbs to pass out the back in a three back formation so kanji does a really good job really consistent passing next pro from the card is the jockeying even though the jockeying is not you know on the same level as a team of the year van dyke or lucio it's very nice 71 agility 72 balance with that jockey on basic so it's jockeying turning defensively whenever we're tracking back an opponent he does a really good job on doing that next pro from the card is the defensive ai aka the defending in general he has intercept on plus anticipate on basic and if you're somebody that loves to defend manually with your cbs you're gonna have a fun time with this card because he has really high defending stats and with the shadow chemistry style it goes up to the 90s if not it gets maxed out and that goes into my next pro which is probably the best aspect from akanji is the physicality 91 strength 89 aggression with his body type being at 6'2 he wins every single one-on-one -on -one tackle you guys saw we were going against erlen Haaland. this man akanji was bodying the hell out of Haaland easily no difficulties at all he also has 94 jumping with that area on basic so when it comes to winning headers defensively 
he's gonna do a fairly easy job on that aspect as well overall this is a great option to use at this stage of the game and if you're somebody that's counting on man city to beat liverpool definitely do the spc because i do think man city are gonna get the edge on winning that game now what i think about the 89 version as of right now i don't think he's a top 10 cb because he's missing that force field that the other top tier cbs have if you guys know what i'm talking about but if he gets a 90 or 91 he'll obviously better but the 91 is what we really want because apparently if he wins the showdown you can put him into an evo and he becomes even a higher rated with better stats across the board and an akanji as a 92 93 rater or 94 whatever the hell the evolution is that could be a potential top 10 cb by then he will probably have that force field that i'm talking about so his card's gonna get a thumbs up for me and he's gonna get a rating of a 8.5 out of 10 you guys let me know in the comment section below if you guys are going to complete this spc or not if you guys are counting on man city on winning definitely complete the spc because this upgraded version with the 91 plus the evolution is going to be very broken thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos you guys are absolutely amazing i already dropped a review on jarzinho centurions months ago so if you guys haven't checked out that review feel free to i don't know if i'm going to do a review on that clark that Liverpool player, I'll try my best. If not, we'll see what's the next video going to be. Till next time, it's been your boy Dan FIFA. I am out. Bye-bye.